This engineering problem is really cool and I fully believe that you can solve it. We have a charged rod and we're with respect to some point P that is one meter away from the rod. We're also assuming that point P is central to the rod. Now notice I also have an equation for the total charge, but if you look to the right of this equation, I actually have the electric field at point P as well as Coulomb's constant given in this equation already. The X variable is pretty easy because we're given that X is equal to one meter, so we can just plug that in for X. To solve for Z, you need to recognize that we have a right triangle that forms. The right triangle would look something like this, where we have a two meter length on the end here since that length is going to be half of the length of the rod. To calculate z, I can just use the Pythagorean theorem x squared plus y squared equals z squared. We're going to set x equal to two and we're going to set y equal to one. I can add two squared and one squared which should give you five and if I square root both sides I'll get that z is equal to the square root of five. So we can take the square root of five meters and we can plug it in for z. You can crunch these numbers pretty quickly on your calculator to get a total charge of about two times ten to the negative five coulombs. So this is the total charge of the rod. 